Hi judges, welcome to another segment of One Our Liwag Memorial High School Senior High School Math TV. Last time we were able to determine the standard equation of the parabola given different conditions. But for this time, we will have the same problem but we are given different conditions. So, we now have here, uh, condition number one is that the axis of symmetry y is equal to 9. Remember that if we are given an axis of symmetry, it's either x or y. If we are given y, therefore, the standard equation of the parabola now is y minus k quantity squared is equal to 4c times x minus h. But if we are given x, therefore, our equation is x minus h quantity squared is equal to 4c times y minus k. Since we are given y is equal to 9, and this is the axis of symmetry, therefore, this is now the standard equation. So this is condition number one, axis of symmetry. Okay, this is our standard equation. Next one is directrix x is equal to 24. So, x is equal to 24. This is 24. Our directrix is vertical. Okay? So, this is x is equal to 24. Meaning, if our directrix x is equal to 24, our parabola now will either open to the left or to the right. Okay? Since we do not know yet the vertex, so we're done using the second condition. And for the third condition, we will now be using the vertex on the line 3y minus 5x is equal to 7. Remember, if you are given this condition, that the vertex lies on the line 3y minus 5x is equal to 7, we will now be using substitution. So, how do we do that? If the axis of symmetry y is equal to 9, Okay, we are given a point y is equal to 9. Therefore, we will substitute this y to this equation. Okay, write down the equation 3y minus 5x is equal to 7. Therefore, that is 3 times 9 minus 5x is equal to 27. What is 3 times 9? 27. So, that becomes 27 minus 5x is equal to 7. Okay, so transposing negative 5 to the other side and 7 to the other side, this becomes 27 minus 7 is equal to positive 5x. 27 minus 7 is 20, is now equal to 5x. Divide both sides by 5, cancel, cancel. Therefore, 20 divided by 5 is 4. Okay, and x now is equal to 4. Therefore, this is now the x-coordinate of the vertex. And what is the y-coordinate of the vertex? We have 9. So, that is how we solve for this one. If the axis of symmetry is given, that is now the x or the y value of the vertex. And then try to substitute this to um, the line. Okay, because that line contains the vertex. Because that is the axis of symmetry. Therefore, our vertex now is located at h and k. And that h and k is 4 and 9. So, let us try to graph 4 and 9. So, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 9. So, this is now the vertex. This is the location of the vertex. And it is located at 4 and 9. So, since this is x is equal to 24, therefore, we could say now that our parabola is opening to the left. Our parabola is opening to the left. And if our parabola is opening to the left, therefore, RC is negative. Okay, therefore, RC should be negative. Why negative? Because our parabola is opening to the left. Okay, so how do we solve for the value of C? Okay, we could solve for the value of C by just simply counting the distance from the vertex going to the directrix is the value of C. Therefore, that is 24 minus 4 or 4 minus 24. That is 4 minus 24 is equal to negative 20. Okay, so substituting this in the equation, x minus h quantity squared is equal to 4c times y minus k. So we will not be using this equation. What we're going to use is this one. Since the axis of symmetry is y is equal to 9. So we'll now be having y minus k quantity squared is equal to 4c times x minus h. We will now be having y minus k. What is the value of k? That is 9. y minus 9 quantity squared is equal to 4 times c, which is negative 20 times x 
minus 4. Simplifying, we'll now be having y minus 9 quantity squared is equal to 4 times negative 20 is negative 80 times x minus 4. Therefore, this is now the equation of our parabola. Having conditions, axis of symmetry y is equal to 9, directrix x is equal to 12. 24 and vertex on the line 3y minus 5x is equal to 7. Always remember that if we are given an axis of symmetry y, we'll be using y minus k, quantity squared. But if we are given axis of symmetry x, we'll be using x minus h, quantity squared. So that's all for today. I hope you learned something from my video tutorial. This is Engineer Jad Edward Hernandez saying mathematics is always fun. Goodbye and God bless.